Good afternoon. This is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 6726 Southwest Canyon Terrace here in Portland. We're located inside the garage of the home, kind of near the uh, rear portion of the garage. We have a 3-inch ABS clean out here right in the concrete. And we're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. We just zeroed out the foot counter there at the bottom of the clean out. Off we go here. standing water here right out of the gate. We'll check this out on the way back and the line is drained. Very minimal debris in the sewer line here. There's a little bit of stuff on the side walls, but nothing significant. So where I, I typically start considering repairs on bellies, in plastic pipe anyway, which is a completely different animal than a belly in concrete or cast iron. Um, is once there's around an inch of standing water uh, for around 10 feet, but I've also got to have significant uh, buildup in the line that shows me it's actually causing blockages and flow problems. And the difference between a belly in this type of pipe, which is very smooth on the inside, versus a belly in co concrete or cast iron, which have very rough pipe walls, is when the standing water slows stuff down in this type of pipe, you have smooth pipe walls that do not hang on the debris the same way that concrete and cast iron do. They grip the debris and don't let it break loose on its own. The line's transitioning here to PVC pipe. That looks like 4 inch. And so you get to take advantage of head pressure when you have plastic pipe like this. So if you're if you're putting toilet paper down your line, not putting tampons and paper towels and grease and junk like that down your sewer line, the likelihood of a backup in plastic pipe with a belly like that is very low. If you start balling your toilet paper up the size of a football when you flush it, or putting all those other items down the line that shouldn't be going down the pipe, that's a different story, but none of those items should be going down your sewer line to begin with. All right, we've reached the main here at 67 feet. We're gonna go do some locates to verify where, where the uh, terminus is at while the pipe drains out. But overall, very clean sewer line. We'll take another look at that belly here as we come back. Located the camera head successfully. The line terminates at the main out here on Southwest Canyon Terrace. It ties right into the manhole you see straight out from the driveway. Looks like we're just about done draining out here. The clean out is dry at this point, so we're going to start reeling back here. That little bit will trickle off in just a second. PVC pipe looks great, drains beautifully, it's very, very clean. This line in general is extremely clean. And I can tell this has not been, if you're wondering if the line's been cleaned for the purposes of the real estate transaction, it has not. There's still a mildew film up the side walls at the top of the pipe which won't be there if someone's run a jetter through. And your line will stay this clean here. The, the biggest thing in keeping it that way is not putting grease and fats down your kitchen sink. Cooking oil, don't dump your baking grease down the sink. That stuff coats the whole sewer line in sticky grease and then lots of junk starts sticking to the pipe that would otherwise make its way out of the line.
All right, the belly here looks like it dissipates out right around 20 feet once you get to this joint. Drains off completely. Right now, we are less than a quarter inch or somewhere around a sixteenth of an inch of standing water there. The bottom of my camera lens sits about a quarter inch off the bottom of the pipe. So once the water line gets to that point, we're at a quarter inch. This is less than that. You, can get, you have a little bit of buildup on the side wall of the pipe, but it's it's very, very minor. So here we're getting up to around, you're out three quarters of an inch there. Same there. So about, and we can, we'll measure this out here, but. It's basically that first, about first 18 feet of the line here, from 2 feet to 20 feet. Roughly the first half here is sitting around 3 quarters of an inch. The, the buildup in the line here is so minimal, though, I, I can't even recommend drain cleaning on this. And in my opinion, if I can't recommend a few hundred dollars in drain cleaning, I'm not going to recommend a five plus thousand dollars. You'd have to sock up the entire garage floor apart. So the first 10 feet here has about 3 quarters of an inch. The last 10 feet is at a sixteenth of an inch. And a sixteenth of an inch of standing water it might, might as well not even be there when it comes to functionality. It's extremely minor. So in my opinion, the belly is, you know, and it's not that it's a, it's, it's all, it's fairly lengthy. It's 20 feet long, but the pipe is almost spotless through here. And most importantly, the top of the pipe is super clean. If a line is clogging on a regular basis, even a, a not so regular basis, if it's ever clogged or backed up, the top of the pipe right here, especially right where the belly starts, is going to be covered in debris buildup where the line is clogged and cause the line to fill up. And we have none of that going on here. So in my opinion, the belly is too minor and does not display enough flow or evidence of flow problems in the past and or present to justify a repair like that to correct the belly. And your line, again, the people living here have managed to keep this line extraordinarily clean You've got a little bit of grease in here, you know, so it's not like it hasn't been going down the sewer line. Just the belly is appears to be handling it fairly well. That tan stuff there is a little bit of grease that's gone down the sewer line. All right, we're going backwards right now into the fountain or the uh, crawl space area or slab, whichever it may be. Anyway, as long as you're not putting grease, paper towels, flushable wipes, tampons, things of that nature down the line, it looks like sewage is being conveyed through here with very little issue whatsoever. Otherwise, the line would be far dirtier than it is right now and covered with buildup. Now, we do have adequate flow of the main lateral connection. All the pipe we have scoped here today all appears to be in good condition and intact. Sewer line is functioning at this time.